Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com here to do a review of the brand new Chromecast from Google. I'm going to let you know if it's worth the upgrade from the old version and just kind of demonstrate it and show off some things. Here's a quick comparison between the first and second generation Chromecast. I do like the updated design because it's slimmer when you put it into the HDMI slot, which allows for more space for other HDMI devices. There's also a magnet on the back of it, which is helpful for me because I'm on the back of one of my TVs. Instead of letting it just hang there, I can actually connect the Chromecast to it so it's not just dangling. The new Chromecast basically just adds network improvements from the old Chromecast. It adds 5 gigahertz wireless support, 802.11 AC wireless support, and also multiple antennas on the inside, which should increase range and then also just increase connectivity and added speed. You saw I just cast a Netflix show. Now I'm going to cast ESPN Live TV. And honestly, it's maybe marginally faster than a previous Chromecast. However, I have very good network speeds, so it's kind of hard to notice a big difference because it has been quick the whole time. Now you also have added Google Photos support for Chromecast where you can cast any pictures that are in Google Photos on your TV. However, when you do zoom in, it does not zoom in with them. If you really want zoom in support, you're just going to have to cast your screen. And speaking of casting your screen, here I am casting mine and you'll notice it's not instant. There are There is a little bit of slight delay when you're actually casting your screen, uh, but how, overall it does a really good job at casting it. And then when playing high-end games, there's a little bit of touch input lag. Uh, however, I am still able to look at the TV and play games on my phone and not have to worry about it being too affected by the touch input lag. There's also Chromecast specific games that only work if you have a Chromecast in the Play Store. And there's not a really great selection, to be honest. They're okay. Um, there's no real game that makes me want to buy the Chromecast so I can play that specific game. Now, the main question I got from everyone is, hey, I have the first generation Chromecast. Should I buy the second generation Chromecast? And the answer is, if you have good network speeds, no, you do not need to buy one. For me, I wouldn't go out and buy the second generation because it performs similarly to the first. It's a little bit quicker. However, if you have slower network speeds, you are going to notice an improvement. So I would say if you get buffering or a lot of lag when you're casting your screen, I would consider it. Now, if you don't have a Chromecast, I always recommend a Chromecast to everyone. I love it. It's $35. I use it all the time, whether I'm watching Netflix, watching YouTube, occasional gaming, or just showing a friend something on the TV. But anyways, that's my review of the new Chromecast. A little short, but hope you, hopefully you enjoyed it. Click that thumbs up button. If you did, you can subscribe to my channel for more coming soon. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.